Dan Willis here, and we're talking about bad credit in a brave new economy. So here's the deal. A bad credit score in our brave new economy is really 650 or less. 650 is on the higher end, and that might even be compared to a fair credit score, but the banks and the lenders and the financiers have new rules, and they're <laughs> the point is simply there's two ways you can improve this, and if you don't have a 700 or higher credit score, you can probably benefit from these two things. So your credit score is calculated by my FICO or FICO. Uh, there's three credit bureaus and they'll look at your credit reports to calculate your credit score. And the second most important factor and piece of the ingredients pie to going into calculating your score is your amounts owed. That's roughly 30% of your credit score. And this is important because you want to have available unused credit. For example, with a credit card, if you had a credit limit of $1,000, but you had a monthly balance of $300, then you'd have $700 of available unused credit. This helps your utilization ratio, but the, the real, it makes some sense, just some logic. If you have available unused credit, you're probably in a more secure financial position than if your credit card were maxed out. <laughs> and then the second part is to remove inaccurate, old, questionable, derogatory information off of your credit reports. You can do this by filing a dispute. You can get your credit reports from each of the major three credit bureaus, Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion, by visiting annualcreditreport.com. You can get that once every 12 months, I believe, is the exact. If you have used that already, you might have to pay a couple dollars. But the point here is there are all sorts of in correct items that can stay on your credit report for too long just mistakes that happen lender creditor disputes like there's there's all sorts of very easy reasons even things that you had no part in that can be put on your credit report and that's the stuff that's really damaging and bringing down credit scores it's the negative information the you can dispute that law the fair credit reporting act passed way back in 1970 says you can dispute any item you believe is in accurate, questionable, uh, and it's smart to just because, you know, the collection agencies don't always follow all the rules and God forbid, knock on wood, if you are being contacted by a collection agency, do not just pay them. You can always negotiate for less and we'll include a link in the description below to another video for some more details, but you have to jump through some hoops. Otherwise, that'll just be changed to a paid collection, which will still damage your credit score. There's, and this is cleaning up your payment history. The very most top 35% approximately of your overall credit score, the number one factor. The payment history is big. And then there's three other items when your credit score is calculated. Uh, the types of accounts you are using, generally speaking, the more diverse, the better, how long you've been using credit, each account, and then also the whole length of time, and then how often you're actually applying and getting new credit, trying to get financed. Generally speaking, the less, the better. But don't worry about those last three. Just focus on having some available credit and then cleaning up that negative, derogatory, uh, questionable information that's on your credit report. If you'd like a free, no-obligation credit consultation, you can call toll-free 1-855-655-9870. Again, that's for a free, no-obligation credit consultation, one 855 655-9870. This is Dan Willis. Please subscribe and join our congregation. You can also visit the link in the description below. Check out some more tips at our website and sign up for a free report. The seven super simple steps to clean credit. Please have a wonderful day and looking forward to talking to you again here soon.